guys welcome to a weekend in my life how I'm we in, doing <laughs> i'm in the sauna with freddie it's friday tomorrow friday. it's christmas eve eve tomorrow's christmas eve mm -hmm. then we have christmas he's sweating a lot more than i, I am sweating a lot we're trying to figure out why i don't know she hasn't sweat at all i've been sweating for 10 minutes my new bathing suit she's crazy She's just I'm so starting much to feel it. It feels moist now. Do you not see that? I'm out here. I'm in a Sahara desert, and she's starting to feel it. Well, you worked out before this. He wouldn't let me work out. But still, I mean, I don't know. She's remarkable. <laughs> I want to sweat. But anyways, welcome to a weekend in my life. Today, we're going to do all the last minute shopping and wrapping. I haven't bought any sh uh, gifts yet, so it's not really last minute. It's just planned. He hasn't bought anything. I think when I, I go shopping last minute for um, Christmas, like Christmas Eve or whatever it is, it's like... I'm with my people. I'm surrounded by like-minded individuals who want to have more of a festive experience. So by that last that's my minute. true spirit. It's I like sense. going to the mall last minute. Everyone's in a buzz. So get my like, fluffy. So that's what yeah. we're up to. Mm -hmm. The view of the sauna is pretty unmatched. Very, very grateful for this. We had the infrared on, which it's is really good for you. Right now. It is a little weirdly foggy. It's cold outside. And yeah. Florida cold. Florida cold. Yeah. Vibes update i am sweating now my self tan is tanning off okay here is my last minute christmas shopping fit i just went to put my hand in the pocket there was none <laughs> there's a pocket back there top is princess Polly. It's just a little short sleeve puffer vest is from nakd bag is from rebecca minkoff i needed a crossbody today Pants or show me your moo moo. They're like my favorite ever. It's from that like lounge set. Then I'm wearing my Uggs. I'm in my Uggs moment. I had to wash my hair up to the sauna, so it's kind of air drying right now. So I'm using my sunglasses as a headband. Freddie and I are gonna have some sibling bonding time, and we're gonna go to the mall, some stores, get all the things. He hasn't gotten anyone gifts, but um, he will today. And we're gonna stop by our favorite juice spot on the way there to get some like ginger shots, smoothies, juices. Not really sure what yet. I wish we could bring you angel cakes. I really, really do. The sun has finally come out after a few days, but of course it's like super windy, but we will take it. It looks gorgeous out. All right, ugh, my headband's not working very well. Are you excited to go shopping, Freddie? Yep. Your favorite time of the year. Yeah, I love this time of the year. It's uh, <laughs> festive, it's fun, I'm excited. I don't know what I'm gonna get anybody yet. I think last year I got dad a dartboard and he returned it. So that's cool. Dad doesn't want a dartboard. He doesn't want a dartboard, but we'll see. We'll see. Do you know what you're getting, Mom? No. We'll see. I let it find me. I let it find me. Well, first stop, juices. Yum. There's our Christmas card on the tree. <laughs> that's cute. Cheers. Cheers. Woo. Oh, these are just the best ginger shots. Like, oh my god. Freddie, you want to go to Build a Bear? You want to go? You want to go? <laughs> we're going to the food court because we were going to go to Cheesecake Factory, which is great, but we don't have a lot of time, and I'm craving some food court bourbon chicken. No way. There's a fish spa here. That freaks me out. I actually have so much dead skin on my feet, but I'm scared. Fun fact, so at our local mall, there is an ice skating rink all year round. Freddie and I, one summer, took ice skating lessons in Florida in the mall. It was so random. Do any other people's malls have ice skating rinks? I don't know. I've never met anyone else with it, but we had a blast. It was always fun. There's a Starbucks and then the ice skating rink. It was a blast. This is my literal favorite meal ever at the food court. Any, any food court that has bourbon chicken, I am there. Freddie's never had it before. Oh my gosh, hallelujah, I'm so excited. Yay! Okay, we're gonna go to Dick's Sporting Goods now, but I got my mom and I, so I wanted some Christmas PJs for myself, selfishly. So I just got like red flannel pajamas from Dillard's that my mom and I can wear. And I got my mom a, uh... A ro no, I got my mom lavender plant. It's so cool. It's a little oh, yeah, lavender yeah. spring box. She yeah. loves lavender. She's and gonna be like, oh, Freddie. And a robe for my dad. Lavender grow kit. And then a Barefoot Dreams men's robe. Mm -hmm. Cause he gets really cold easily. Yeah. 
We ride. I think you crushed it, Freddy. I think I crushed it too. Now we're going to Dick's, which we have a lot of like money on right now. We're like everything everywhere we went today, we're like, oh we'll just get it at Dick's. So I'm gonna be really upset. It's a great establishment. If we get there and it's all picked over. It won't Gotta be. get mom's boyfriend something. A lot of inventory there. You it's have to get place. my gift there apparently. Okay. okay. Yeah, I do. I do. So I guess I'll have to do one of these. I'm like tired right now. I know shopping does that too. All right, Dick Sporting Goods, I have a lot of faith in you right now. <laughs> My dad's always the one who like fills all of our stockings. So his stocking is always underappreciated. So it's really hard finding stocking stuffers for my dad. I know like everyone can always use more socks. So I got some socks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Freddie, Freddie, we're here to shop right now. We don't have time for this. I have to wrap. You're so, you're literally so good. You're so, what do you want me to tell you? You're so good. I'm so Freddie happy. really was good. He forgot. What did I tell you on the way here, Danielle? You said things just come to the you. gifts find you if you're a great gift buyer. <laughs> My mom's been playing tennis, and so he's getting her a, a, her own racket because she's been borrowing one, and then a tennis outfit and a visor. Well, that's for her this boyfriend. For her boyfriend of 10 years. That's so sweet, Freddie. It's better I than my I gift. Get her. And then a visor, too. Yeah. Just get her, like, the white one to match. Or is there a white with black? Ooh, oh, oh, God. <laughs> Getting too excited. Sorry, Rack. All right, Freddie has treated me all day to juices, to lunch. We are now at the Starbucks drive through Hi, do you guys do decaf iced coffee? Uh, we do not, but we can make a decaf iced Americano. That would be incredible, just with some cream. Oh, right. Would that be it? And then also a grande iced green tea. Venti. Venti. Danielle. I'm ready, Danielle, you can put forward. Thank you. People always ask what my coffee order is. I'm just like, I never say because I feel like it's boring. Like I'll either get iced coffee or hot coffee or like an oat milk latte, but pretty much always decaf. If I need like a little caffeine, I'll do half calf at Starbucks because they'll do that. Sometimes I'll just get like a full on caffeinated beverage, but yeah, iced Americano. It's basically espresso with hot water. So sometimes if, if you want decaf and they don't do decaf coffee, like just like roasted coffee, they always typically have decaf espresso beans. So you can get a decaf Americano um, and it basically is like coffee, like just like the more concentrated espresso beans with the hot water makes it like a lighter coffee. So that's my hack to get iced coffee at Starbucks if you want decaf. Cheers. Yas. Okay, I just lit my fresh balsam candle. My mom gave me the idea to turn on the Yule log in here. I don't know why I'm just like not inspired to wrap right now. And usually I enjoy wrapping gifts, like playing Christmas music and the Yule log on, all the things. But I think my room here is so messy and there's just shit everywhere that I'm like, ugh, it's not really a vibe. And I can't really wrap out there because they're all sitting in the living room right now, hanging out. And then I get FOMO because I'm like, oh, everyone's out there. I feel bad being in here, but I'm wrapping gifts for them. I don't know, but <laughs> Eli Rallo, one of my very good friends, she has a TikTok, the jar, Eli Rallo. Um, she, you know, she does her rules or like things to do on this day, rules for Christmas Eve or whatever. She did one for Christmas Eve and I literally want to wake up tomorrow on Christmas Eve and do all the things. It was like, it just felt like it was going to be the perfect Christmas Eve. Um, I'll read it to you guys tomorrow when I wake up on Christmas Eve. It was like, do a workout to Christmas trap music. Like it was just good. But anyways, we're gonna get the fireplace going here. Fresh balsam candle going. Gonna put on some Christmas music. Got some wrapping paper from the guest room. Some tape, of course. It's literally such a mess in here. I really like, next time I come home, or maybe early next week before I go back, I really need to clean out my room so it's more of like, I don't wanna say guest room, cause that's really sad, but you know, like more of a mature vibe so when I come home I'm not stressed. Cause I just have stuff everywhere cause I, for me, it's like, oh, I don't have to get rid of it. I could just put it in my childhood home, you know, because I'm very thankful that my mom hasn't converted this to a guest room. But, like, I need to just clean out. Anyways, that's my little rant. Um, I'm going to drink my coffee, wrap some gifts. Okay, since this box is so beautiful, this is the Georgia Bulldogs, like, half-quarter zip or whatever that I got for my grandpa. 
Um, I was gonna wrap it, but like this box is just so nice. I just taped it. I'm gonna put like a bow on it. Hopefully that's acceptable. So then I've been slowly showing you guys things I've been getting for people. So I got my dad this. It can charge his phone and his smartwatch at the same time. And it's like a little travel one because he has one for his house. But when he came to visit New York, he like had this whole big contraption where you put the watch on top and the phone on the bottom. It was so much. So I got him this and it looks like it like folds so you can travel with it. And then you unfold it, plug it in. And you can even put your earbuds there too. He doesn't have those, so he'll just do his watch and phone when he travels. I am so proud of myself for this. Next up, we're wrapping this. I got my dad the Ember Travel Mug. This is the bigger one. He has the small mug that he uses every single morning. I was literally at his house this morning and he was using his Ember Mug. It keeps your coffee hot. I have one as well. I use it back in New York. It's the best thing and he works at the hospital and he sometimes brings coffee. So this will be sick. He can have his coffee super hot in his travel mug too. I always go for like tech things for my dad because it's something for he can like play with and like, I don't know. They always love stuff like this, I feel like. No, I didn't calculate it right. It's okay, good thing I have extra. That's why I always keep the extra like random wrapping paper because I'll just cover this part up because I'm not redoing this. Next up, I'm wrapping this Baccarat Rouge 540 candle. This has been so great. I gave this also to my agent and she just texted us and was like, oh my God, this is like the nicest thing ever because everyone loves Baccarat Rouge. A lot of people have the perfume or like got it for their birthday, whatever. It's like a up, not up and coming, but everyone's like loving the perfume right now. So the candle is a great gift because if you know they love the scent, the candle is always great. So I got this for my aunt because last year for Christmas, I got her the perfume and she was like, I love it. And I know she likes candles and it's a beautiful candle. So I'm going to wrap this now. So this is the purse I got my Aunt Debbie. It looks like this. It's like a three-toned bag. And when she was in New York, like in the city, went shopping one day and she really loved this bag. So I went back and got it for her for Christmas. I love these thick straps it comes with. And it also comes with a chain. So you could wear it short, like on your shoulder or crossbody with this amazing strap. I was like, this is such a great bag. It stores so much, but it's so cute. So I'm going to wrap this. I'm going to actually put it. The dust bag is so sick. Marc Jacobs is crushing it right now, in my opinion. I'm going to put this in there and then probably put it in one of these like boxes and wrap it or something. I like refuse to put on overhead lighting. Like it's getting dark outside, but I just can't do it. It's such a vibe in here. I'm literally procrastinating, but I sat down for like one second to go on TikTok and I'm realizing there's this trend right now turning my mom into me where like the mom walks out in her clothes, walks back into her room and, and then walks back out in like what an outfit you would, like your vibes. I went to my mom and she said she's down. So it's like quick pause. I'm finished just sitting there. So I'm trying to think of like a typical Danny fit. So I want her to put on my good American baggy jeans and then my Jerf Avenue blazer and then just like a white or black crop top. I'm thinking this bag, my Prada sunglasses, gold hoops. I don't even know if you'll see them in the video though. And then I'm gonna give her my um, Nike Air Forces. <laughs> Let's go do this. All right, got everything here. Added a claw clip in my boar bristle brush to slick back your hair and do a claw clip with a middle part. We'll see if that looks good. And then some gold hoops. Got the um, Air Forces down there. She's gonna look so good. Mrs. Claus, your presence is needed. <laughs> Guys, it's a walking Danielle. <laughs> the earring, the baggy jeans. I don't think I've ever seen you. Aggie jeans. I think we need to leave the hair down, honestly. You, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that turned out so good. Go follow me on TikTok at Danielle underscore Carolyn. I'm gonna resume wrapping gifts. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. Hi guys, I just finished getting ready. I'm really vibing with my fit. It's a lot for like going out to dinner in Tampa. 
but it's chilly out so this was like my one long sleeve going out top i brought and then these pants obviously i need a moment for the pants again oh, i just realized i didn't put an earring so we're gonna do that now i'm going to this place called cask social with my friends it was kind of a last minute plan we all decided to this, these are not the earrings for the job um to go to dinner tonight and people just kept kind of adding on so then there was like a party of seven and we made these reservations yesterday and when i was looking i was like there is nothing for seven people um ah. so this place called cask it's like southern cooking it looks cool it has good reviews we've just never been like none of us have ever been so we're just gonna give it a shot i think my friend luke has been i don't really know but we're gonna go we're gonna go to dinner and maybe go out after we shall see i'm bringing a sleepover bag in case i drink because then if so i'm just not gonna drive and sleep at mary stevens house so trying to figure that all out i like would like to wake up in my house tomorrow on christmas eve but also if tonight ends up being fun i don't want to be like oh, i have to go like no so here's my outfit this is a bodysuit from Revolve. I'll link it below. It's so flattering and it has little armholes. And then my pants are from a Goldie. I will link similar ones down below because these are sold out. And then I'm just wearing my black pointed booties. I'm actually gonna bring this. This is like one of my college like going out jackets I would wear. I have it here in my closet. And it's kind of perfect for the temperature outside. It just went down to like 47. 50 maybe it's 50 um so i know it's not that cold but it's just like this black faux fur jacket situation that i bought in an athens boutique and then i'm gonna do my little black bottega so we're gonna see where the night takes us it is friday night and i love going out with my high school friends they're so much fun um so we're just gonna see but yeah we'll see how much i vlog i'm really happy with the outfit though yeah yeah i was using this light i know <laughs> everybody merry christmas eve we are in the starbucks drive through line i am so hungry last night was so much fun um i'm i obviously ended up sleeping over at mary stevens house and i'm just so glad i'm so glad i gave myself that option because i had the best night paying for it right now i feel a little blah but it's okay i have an appetite which is good i'm like actually so hungry so in the Starbucks drive through line is not short, but I believe in Starbucks. They're so efficient and pretty quick. I'm so glad I went last night because I wasn't in Tampa for like Thanksgiving Eve Eve. And, or Thanksgiving Eve. <laughs> last night was Christmas Eve Eve. Maybe that's the new going out night. I like had a lot of FOMO and my friends that were here on Thanksgiving Eve were like, it wasn't that much fun, whatever. But last night, I was with them all and they were like tonight was way more fun it was like more people that we like you know you see a ton of people from high school and I guess like Thanksgiving Eve they like didn't see a ton of their like favorite people in the world not like people they don't like but it wasn't like the people they wanted to see and then last night we saw so many people from high school and just like Tampa in general it was so fun like I met so many of you guys last night I guess I haven't gone out in Tampa in a minute but like y'all been deep in Tampa let's go I loved that oh my god I'm so hungry <laughs> I should have ordered ahead and like got in time. Yeah, it's 9.30, so start in the morning, right? I woke up next to Mary Stevens' cat. I'm not a cat person. And I guess her cat climbed up in bed. And Mary Stevens sent a Snapchat to our group chat. was like, Danielle no likey cats. And my cat is snuggled up against her. I did feel something. And I was like, oh, Mary Stevens just snuggling this morning. And I wake up, Mary Stevens not in the bed. And there's a cat on me. But that her cat is cute he was being cute so i'm okay with it but it was scary at first to wake up and there's a cat nestled into you um i'm wondering if i should be ordering mobile anyways we're gonna get the day started boy did i make the right move guys i got out of the line and i went inside and i did my mobile order and i see the car that i was behind and he's ordering now and i already ate my sandwich so 
Whoa, that feels good. Um, slowly coming back to life. I'm like still hungry, honestly. Uh, got a decaf Americano with cream. <laughs> Every other cup that came out was a holiday cup. I, they must have literally ran out at my cup. <sighs> I was really excited about the holiday cup. That's okay. That's okay. Let's drive back. I've been told to go to my room. I don't know if anyone else's family is still do this. But in our household, Santa is very much real. <laughs> and we wake up and there's like new Christmas presents under the tree. I love it. I will continue to do that for my kids when I'm older or when they're older too. Like I think it's still so fun and exciting and it's so sweet that my family wants to do that. So my dad texted my mom like, make Danielle go in her room. Like I'll be there in one minute so we can like bring the gifts in. I don't know where he hides them. I don't know where he's hid them my whole life. Um, which is very very cute. So I'm in here. I've got like two more gifts to wrap. I'm like Christmas Eve is arguably more fun Than Christmas, you know, it's like the excitement, but I'm just like a little hungover which I know but I'm not I don't regret it I had so much fun last night um, But Eli Rollo I was telling you guys yesterday. She posted a TikTok and it was like You know rules for Christmas Eve and it was so fun. It was like wake up 8 a.m. I woke up at 9 a.m. Not bad um, she also said go get breakfast out so you don't dirty your kitchen on Christmas Eve, which I did do. And she said drive and listen to Christmas music, which I did do. And then this is what I didn't do and I just like don't have the energy to do right now. It was like do a workout to Christmas music. Like I go on SoundCloud and there's like Christmas trap remixes and they're so fun. Um, so... Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be happening. My body's kind of like, no um and then just like other like random fun stuff like get all dressed up for christmas eve and do your photo shoot you know we do have a party tonight so i will be getting dressed up which will be nice but yeah i just remember that emily paris is out and i'm kind of like should i watch it i don't know it's still early it's 11 48 i also was th i thought i was going to be baking with my aunt but i guess she woke up early and like started baking I don't know. I'm just telling you guys everything. I got Freddie this golf push cart for Christmas. And this is just a lot to wrap. I feel like I should unbox. It's basically like if you're walking the course instead of um, like a golf cart, you can put your golf bag on this and roll it. And I know he like borrows his friends sometimes. So I think he'll be really pleasantly surprised that I got this for him. But I feel like I should unbox it, you know? And then put it back in so he doesn't actually have to open it because it came in this box. But my mom gave me the idea. We have this like Carolyn Santa sack bag. I think I'd be able to like fit it over this. Let's see. <laughs> this is how I cheat the system. I could wrap this. That's just like a lot of wrapping paper. Or, this just looks so bad. <laughs> or what I could do is take it out of the box and put a bow on it. And then, like, when it's time for me to give him the gift, I could just roll it out, you know? Hello. It's a lot later. I honestly have just been chilling with my family, taking friendly for walks, enjoying the day. I kind of took a nap. I'm a little hungover. Um, but it's the evening now, and we're doing a little happy hour christmas eve toast here at the house with like cheese and crackers invited some neighbors over and then my mom and her boyfriend are going to dinner and then me my dad my brother my aunt are going to our like my dad's side of the family is like christmas eve party that they have every year but we haven't gone the last two years so very excited to see everybody it's the fun italian fam i have tried on a thousand different outfits my room is literally a mess but <sighs> okay, I don't I feel like I look like I'm going to a business meeting, but I feel comfortable. It's cold outside, so the outfit I was gonna wear tonight just won't work. I didn't bring my tall boots. It's okay, it's okay. I just don't feel very festive. Top Spanx. It's this awesome bodysuit. Blazer is from Fashion Pass. Pants are Aritzia black boots, same as last night from Revolve. And this. I'm really sad I want to use this, but it just doesn't go. So that's okay. The people are about to be here. This is the fit. Merry Christmas Eve.
Okay, I switched. We're about to go to the party. I just switched. Where's the other jacket? I mean, that one's still I mean, the other jacket better. better. It was a blitz. You liked the other one better? You can't wear that one now. Oh, everyone's telling me to wear different things. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but that one's like a plaid, like, blazer. Yeah, Mom, but what like, do you think of this instead? Oh, that looks great. This feels more it's Christmas. Fun. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'll that's keep fair. it. I'll do like this or something. You don't have to yeah. do that. Just wear it all. I can do this. All right, that's good. Yeah. Okay, that's but it, that seems more like an outside coat. It's inside outside party. I'm wearing the red one like that. It just feels more Christmassy. You, know, that's lighter. you guys just all have something to say about my outfit, don't we? <laughs> Good night, Fred died. Merry Christmas, good night. Santa's coming, good night. Love you. Love you too. Gave my mom and I our matching PJs. Should I put some milk and cookies out for Santa? I won't, okay. Santa's like, go to bed so Santa can come. <laughs> was the night before Christmas, all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to have kids again one day to like, live that Christmas magic again. I really try to keep it alive. I always go in my room and I play the Polar Express soundtrack. Josh Groban believes specifically from the soundtrack, but I, I play all the like chill songs on the playlist and I have my fresh balsam candle and I get to snuggle with Finley and got my PJs on. And I'm gonna, I kind of need to wind down. We were at the party and it was really fun. We played left, right, center. We play that every year. I don't know if you guys have ever played it. It was really good to see everyone because I hadn't been there in a couple years and it was nice. It was fun family time and just feeling extra grateful for family. Um, so I'm going to go to bed. Tomorrow's Christmas. So crazy. I'm so excited to give everyone the gifts I got. Love you guys. See you in the morning. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Oh, just a little. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Mom's okay, annual like Christmas casserole. Oh my gosh. I, I can hardly wait. Finley, you want to open your stocking? Finley's got his donut Let box. Share, That's cute. Yeah. You didn't get right. Finley? What? Opening my stocking. Yeah, okay. Ooh, some Lassiton hand cream. Lots of sample. Ooh, the shower oil. That's good for travel. Yeah, I like that one. Oh! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't know who did this, but my favorite shower oil. <laughs> yes, the only thing that matters. An no, avocado slicer. Oh, what is that? I'm, it's an avocado slicer. I'm in my avocado oh, era. So it slices? <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to cool. try it out. Oh my god, cute. A little shy. I heard New York say? chocolate. I heard New York. Revlon. Revlon. Oh, that's funny! <laughs> when she was visiting me in New York, I don't have a nail file, I don't have nail clippers. Wow. Like I had a whole raggedy nail, she, she had nothing. <laughs> Are these drill bits? That's funny. That's really she funny. Has, she has a drill. I have a drill with no drill bits in my apartment. What's this now? Michael got it too. Yeah, I'll show you guys later. Oh, so we're gonna get a drilling lesson later? <laughs> this is stacked in here. Ooh, my favorite gum. I don't know if that was known, but this is my favorite gum. Extra polar ice. It's the bat. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Ooh, is this lip balm? Yeah, I put that in there. Oh my god, oh it's How sleek. Do you have in there? No, and more yeah, samples. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys. That was really nice. Oh, get a girl. Yeah. Where do you go? You can't get in the <laughs> Dad's making some buffalo cauliflower. I wasn't here for Thanksgiving to try it. I'm very excited. Did you add all these spices, Dad? Paprika, 
cayenne and garlic powder and then hot sauce as well butter oh my god this is gonna be so tasty so he doesn't fry them you bake them right yeah. oh my god i'm so excited health king <laughs> king <laughs> got some meatballs cooking oh they smell these meatballs smell so good wow oh my gosh this looks so good we just finished opening gifts, and I'm not doing like a what I got for Christmas haul per se, but I thought I'd show you guys some of the things I got because I'm obsessed. Um, I'm very, very grateful. My family knows me quite well. So my mom always gets me some sort of skims for Christmas. Not always. This literally started last year, but she's like, it's a tradition now. So I got this really nice just skims basic top. I've always wanted this set. I think it's so cute. I didn't tell her. Like, she just got it. It's like the bralette with like the underwear looking, like leggings i think this is really nice for lounge wear I, or do people wear these out i don't know freddie got me this sick nike black sweat set which i am about to live in this winter this was one thing i did say i really really wanted for christmas i wanted a nice apron because i've been cooking a lot you guys will see a theme i'm in my cooking era my mom got me this really nice she asked my friend's mom who like cooks all the time like what a good apron company is. I think it's called like Headley and Bennett and she got a customized little DC in the corner. She also got me this beautiful Free People scarf which is so warm and I don't really have a scarf this color. Also from my mom she got me this really cute spoon rest. It's a Florida spoon rest and it, if you guys know my kitchen in New York the tile like the backsplash behind my oven or stove or whatever is this color. So maybe I'll start using that one because it's really cute. I am like freaking out. My mom's boyfriend was a chef for years and then he moved to Florida. He was a chef at a country club in, in New York actually in Westchester and then moved down to Florida. And anyways, he's a great chef and he always uses this knife when he chops vegetables. And you guys know, I literally just use my little paring knife. And this is just, I have used it here and it's like the best thing ever. And he, he went and got it for me, which was so nice. My dad, this makes so much sense. He was like, hey, can I try your Theragun to, in Florida? And I was like, what? Okay. Like, I want it back because I, you guys know I use my Theragun all the time after I work out when I'm sore from Pilates or something. And he wanted me to bring it so he could use that and then I get the big one, which was very thought. He was like, there was such a good deal on Cyber Monday. I couldn't help myself. So I'm going to have to ship some of this stuff back. Oh, I also got the rose of no man's perfume from byredo i love this i always have the rose noir but it's they don't it's discontinued so this is like the closest one to it which is really really thoughtful it's like the best rose perfume ever my aunt I thought this was really cute she got me this portable like electronic lighter and she was like it'll look so good in your videos when you light a candle which is so true and very cute and you can charge it, which is nice. My mom's boyfriend also got me this, which is a, it's a multi quick seven. It's like a blender of sorts and you like can put things in a bowl and it blends. So, Cause whenever I come home, I make pasta sauce with him and we always use this and he thought to get it for me, which was nice. So clearly everyone wants me to cook. <laughs> Uh, my dad got me these hokas, which I was in need of a new pair of hokas. I really want the all white ones though, so I actually might be that person and exchange them. These are stunning, but I don't know. I think I might actually do the white. And then also, oh, he got me another Air Ancient Baths, which was really nice. This is like an amazing spa in New York City, so he gave me two massages. And you also get access to like the baths, which is like a pool, so maybe I'll take Ryan. Got a Tom Brady jersey, and then Freddie got me this sick, super sick Buccaneers jacket. It literally looks like it's vintage, but I don't think it is. But I love it, and there's a Bucks game tonight on Christmas Day, so we're all gonna watch it together, and I'm gonna get all dressed up. I don't want to change out of my pajamas, but it's like 2 o'clock now. It's a little bit later. We're making, like, appetizers and all that my dad's making the buffalo cauliflower my auntie's making the meatballs and then we'll have like dinner tonight we're doing like corn casserole and ham and that vibe which i'm so excited and green beans the best like a thanksgiving meal basically so yeah i'm gonna shower and change and then get ready for the day i don't really know what i'm gonna wear I always struggle with this like sometimes i'm like in the mood to be that dressed up person to just be with like my family of five or six but today I'm kind of like, eh, because we're going to watch the Bucks game tonight, so I'll probably just throw on the jersey. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here, actually, because 
you guys know how Christmas Day goes. You kind of just chill, vibe, whatever. By the time this vlog is up, I'm like, are people holidayed out? <laughs> um, but I love you guys so much. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. More vlogs to come. I post twice a week, Wednesdays and Sundays. And I'll see you guys next time for our next video. Bye.